What's the biggest issue for our president? Right now, it's, it's a cultural problem, to be honest. Uh, I think when you look at the fragmentation at the professional level, the youth level, the, I would say the disenfranchised uh, the people at the, at the amateur adult, um, that all stems from, from a message from above, that which has not been one that, that has ever been welcomed. It has been somewhat of, I would say, two decades now uh, with a federation that has probably lost its way. And, and instead of being a resource, instead of being a federation that cares about its members, not to say that we don't care or, or they don't care, but we need to care more about our members. We, we need to create an organization that there is this overall belief that is about we, all of us. That means from every, every component of it, whether that be the, at the recreation level, the adult level, the 50-year-old guy that scored a, a, a great free kick uh, this past weekend, that guy needs to feel that he's a part of the we. Not just our national team. Focusing on that 1% is what we all do when our team fails uh, at the highest level. But the reality is, is it's a cultural change that stems directly from our federation and the way that, that they address the business of soccer in this country. It is an industry. People talk about pay to play. They talk about our national team. Where are we spending our money? Why do we have $160 million uh, in a war chest just sitting there in a non-for-profit organization? The truth is, if you don't know what to do with that $160 million, what are you doing? How is it supposed to get better if we don't have, at the top, people with the ability to make soccer decisions that are going to be conducive to ch not just change, but to growth and development, sustainable growth. Right now, we have hit stagnation. We are mediocre, and it's our fault. But the good news in all of that, Mark, is we can fix it.